Nestled up the strath in the northeast coast of Scotland lies the remains of the township of Cayenne. Although people left in 1813, the majority of the population left the area in 1825 as part of the clearances. A mile or so down the road in Helmsdale, Timespan Museum in partnership with the University of St Andrews Computer Science Department have developed an interactive virtual world exhibit which allows visitors to experience the township as it might have been 200 years ago using an open sim virtual world server with three modified Firestorm clients controlled by a Kinect. Excavations of the site have revealed information specific to Cayenne, which has been incorporated into the virtual exhibit, providing an insight with our past and a feeling of connection with our ancestors. We knew that visitors would only spend a relatively short amount of time with the system, so they needed to be able to get a good strong impression and a strong experience from the exhibit without, um, without having to learn too much. Um, to do this we use the connect for input, so at no point is the user presented with a joystick or a mouse and keyboard that they have to use to control. They simply um, use it, move their body to control the system. Um, they can move the, move the camera or their avatar forward by pushing forward, um, or they can turn their shoulders or lean from side to side to turn the character. And that's all they need to learn in order to navigate through the space. I particularly like um, being able to enter it by avatar. I think for younger people it's absolutely ideal to portray, portray our heritage using the, the kind of techniques that they're used to using in a day-to-day -day way. Um, it draws them right in and makes them really think about uh, what things were like um, long ago. Since we've launched uh, the virtual world um, in the museum, we've had a lot of interest in younger folk but also older people and we were astonished how easy it was for older people to actually access the virtual world because there's no actual technology that you have to take in your hand so it's very easy for people uh, to just come along and uh, the body is picked up by the connect and um, therefore they feel fairly comfortable uh, using um, the, the medium itself. I really enjoyed uh, also um, the excavation that we had up at Cayenne. Uh, I helped on uh, probably five different uh, times, five different days, and I found myself cleaning a beautiful cobbled floor that was uh, uh, uncovered uh, during the excavation and thinking to myself, perhaps my three times great-grandmother also swept that floor I know it sounds cheesy, but it was a very surreal experience for me. John and his team have been able to um, actually incorporate some of the finds of the uh, excavation in their animation, and so making it even more real um, uh, and even more realistic um, as how it would have been 200 years ago. Yeah. Um, obviously, the township of Cayenne um, just survives as um, archaeological remains. So the buildings weren't there to begin with, so how would we go about trying to recreate um, upstanding buildings with all the textures and colour and on top of that make it a 3D model? So it was important to really look at the landscape of Cayenne, the surrounding topography, the, the stones in the landscape, for example, the granite stones. Um, so what we were really trying to do was actually make the buildings of Cayenne as local to the area as possible. We didn't want it to be generic, this is a longhouse, it could have been from anywhere. We wanted to keep it to um, the, the materials and uh, the stones that would be actually found in, in the actual landscape of Cayenne. So it was all a little bit of getting other experts involved, historians, archaeologists, artists, um, so I really think we've done quite a, a you know, a, quite an interesting job and, and I really think people would be so interested in some of the buildings like the corn drying kiln, um, the potato pits um, and you really have to see um, and, uh, you know, these structures and to be able to walk into them and around them to appreciate um, you know, what they looked like and what their purpose was. I think it's a unique experience and one I think that all ages will enjoy.